Hello y'all and welcome back to Cass Ventures. We have a challenge speaking proper. Obviously we will not do this entire vlog in these accents because we do not want to lose subscribers. Welcome to London. Um, today we are going to do the top 15 free things that you need to do whenever you go to London. <sighs> Okay, so today we are going to be telling you our top 15 things to do in London that just happen to be free. Nobody thought it could be done, but oh. it can. Number 15 of our top 15 things to do in London is the iconic phone booths. One of the top things that you want to do when you go to London is take pictures and boomerangs with the iconic red phone booths that you see um, like in all the famous English movies and actually in London. Um, they're free, they're everywhere, you can get great photos there. Everyone will know where you are if you take that red photo, red phone booth photo. That's <laughs> At number 14, the street performers. Okay, so everywhere in London, everywhere you go, you're gonna see street performers. The street performers are everywhere. And lucky for you, they're free. Now, obviously, you do gotta tip them if you want to, but if you don't want to, if you don't like the show, you don't have to tip them. You'll see break dancers. You'll see musicians. You'll see magicians, you'll see uh, soccer players dribbling, um, you'll see tons of street performers. The performances are worth it. And that brings us to number 13, the M&M store. Yes, the candy, the M&Ms. As you know, in like most major cities, they have M&M stores like Las Vegas or New York. Um, and it's just like a big store full of candy and goodies. But I like to go because there's always like iconic symbols from that area in the M&M store with the M&M characters. And it's kind of funny. Like we took a picture there where they had Abbey Road, you know, the Beatles. Um, and the M&Ms were walking. So my friends and us, we actually went and took the picture like we were walking. At number 12, I'm drinking tea by the way. If you're going to London, like almost every major city around the world, they got their own Chinatown and London doesn't disappoint. Their Chinatown is amazing. You're gonna find the famous pork buns, you're gonna find all sorts of Chinese food. And the cool thing about the Chinatown in London is the entrance, it's iconic, it's uh, picture worthy, it's beautiful. The cool thing about it is you might see some street performers in the, in the Chinatown area. Another cool thing about that place is there's a, an ice cream shop right next to the entrance. You want to talk about that? Oh my god, yes. You got to go and get a bubble waffle cone. So it's really cool. Obviously, you will spend money with this, but it's right there near the entrance. Chinatown, what are you eating? Baked ice cream. So they like, they literally make the bubble waffle right there and then they fold it and then they fill it with ice cream and it is so delicious. Go explore Chinatown, walk around, take photos in front of the entrance and on your way out, get a bubble cone. <laughs> Up next is number 11 and that is the London Eye. Riding the London Eye is not free, but what we suggest is actually that you go across the bridge. And as you can see from here, like it is a great area to take pictures. V took a really good one of me where I'm looking over the bridge and the London Eye is in the background. Um, it's like one of my favorite pictures. And um, then from there, you just cross over the bridge and there's this where the London Eye is, there's this nice green park right behind it. And it's a great spot to just like relax, get amazing photo ops with the London Eye in the background, as well as Big Ben's in the background and the river. And it's just really incredible to see. At number 10, we got Big Ben. This is my clock. <laughs> Big Ben is the most iconic landmark of London, all right? You see it everywhere, so it's a must that you need to take a picture with it. Lucky for you, 
It's free. You don't have to pay anything to take a picture with a Big Ben behind you. There's several places where you can take a picture of it with, uh, with Big Ben in the back. There's several angles throughout the city. All right, that takes us to number nine, which is Westminster Abbey. So if you're like me or probably every girl in the whole wide world and you grew up and you watched all the royal weddings on TV, this is the place you gotta go. And it was just so beautiful. I pretended I was Princess Kate and I was walking down the aisle. Eek! <laughs> but uh, anyway, so you have to go. I mean, you've seen it on TV millions of times. And this is like an iconic place in London. Um, if you want to go inside, it does cost money. But if you go almost every weeknight at 5 p.m., they have a service and you can actually get into it for free. Up next, at number eight, we suggest that you go and visit Hyde Park. Hyde Park is gorgeous, guys. Like... I think that I could have spent an entire day there. It was so beautiful. If you like nature, like this is the place for you. So what we actually did is we had breakfast there right next to the water. Um, and it was just so beautiful. There were little geese, like there's flowers everywhere. Again, it's incredibly gorgeous. Um, you can pack, I suggest that either if you want it to be like free, pack a breakfast or bring something from your hotel and make yourself a little picnic again. Another amazing, and probably the most important reason to visit Hyde Park is the Princess Diana Memorial. I know like all of us grew up loving Princess Diana. Um, so this is where you should go and see her memorial in the garden in her honor. Um, again, it's all free to go and see and it's a beautiful legacy to the Princess Diana. At number seven, you got Buckingham Palace, another iconic landmark of London. And the cool thing about this place is the changing of the guards. Now, if you walk over there, you might want to get there early because when they do the changing of the guards, there's tons of people everywhere and you really have to be close to the gate to be able to see everything, uh, the ceremony, how they're marching and how they do the whole process. It's pretty cool, get there early, be by the gate and you'll be able to see everything. And they change at the top of every hour. Okay, so at number six, we suggest that you go and visit the Shakespeare Global Theater. The Shakespeare Theater is, of course, there is a fee to go inside if you want to take the tour, and there are shows going on all the time. And if you have the time, then I suggest you go and see one. I mean, it's an iconic place, of course. Um, but to go and see the Shakespeare Theater and kind of like walk in just the front part to where you can see and to go into the gift shop is free. It does not cost anything. So you can get a little bit of the experience, um, but it's just beautiful to see from the outside as well. At number six, we got this perfect view of London called the Sitch House. Okay, so we stumbled upon this hidden gem because we actually found it by accident. And we'll put the description on how to locate it. So what you do is you go to the top level, the, uh, it's free, it's totally free to go up there. Uh, you can buy a drink if you want to or not, whatever. But you can enjoy the view of London. You'll see the, the, the business district, you'll be able to see the Thames River, you'll be able to see uh, most of London. And it's, the Tower of London is right across the street. Yes, it's right there. You're, right across the river right across the river, you'll be able to enjoy the whole thing. That was like my favorite part of the whole trip, which is why it's closer to the top of the list. Um, again, it was free. It was like we stumbled upon it and it was just so gorgeous. This view is bloody amazing. It's rubbish compared to El Paso. We are down to our top five. At number five, mm. we have crossed the Tower Bridge. So, you have to go and cross the Tower Bridge. I thought this was the London Bridge, you know, like the Fergie song, like... Okay, it is incredibly gorgeous, y'all, like with the blue and the white, you're gonna wanna go, you're definitely gonna wanna get your pictures here. Take your pictures in front of it and then cross it as you're crossing it just to see like all of the detail put into this bridge. It is so beautiful. I've never seen a bridge like it. At number four, you got the Emirates Stadium. London is home to a lot of famous soccer teams 
and we had time to go visit the Emirates Stadium. It is amazing. Even though I did not have an opportunity to go inside, I was able to walk around. It's totally worth to go visit the stadium and walk the, uh, the perimeter of it. And onward to number two, we have the infamous Abbey Road. If you're a Beatles fan, if you're a rock and roll fan, if you're a fan of everything amazing, a fan of love. Um, then you need to go and cross Abbey Road. So we obviously did that. We go and we walked and we took a picture of us, you know, like we're walking. Um, I'm Paul McCartney. I got John Lennon over here. And we did our infamous Beatles pose going across Abbey Road and where you were on a um, record cover. No big deal. Okay. We are down to our number one free thing to do in London. And that is... Walk! Okay, I know we built that one up, but we really do suggest that the best way to get around London is to walk. The reason that we say this is just do not waste your money with one of those hop on, hop off buses, especially if you were in peak tourist season. We went in June, we purchased a hop on, hop off bus, and I'm not being dramatic with this statement when I say we traveled two blocks in 20 minutes. Like that's it, like we crossed one street and another because the traffic was just so bad, guys. So I just do not think it is worth it. A lot of the things that we told you in our top three things to do, they're so close. They're in walking distance from each other. Yes, it's spread out through this gigantic city, but you're gonna get there and you're gonna find amazing pickups and things along the way. So walk, we really suggest it rather than wasting your money and wasting a lot of time that could be spent exploring and doing things. Oh well, so that is it for our channel. That is all top 15 things to do while visiting the UK. Just kidding, just London. Um, <laughs> so go, have fun, and ball on a budget, y'all. Like, you can do it. We, like I said, we hardly spend any money, and if we did, you can too. So, we hope you found this useful and helpful. If you have any other free tips that could help other viewers, please comment them below, as well as like this video. Like us. Um, and then subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Pinterest and Instagram at Cast Ventures and of course our blog at castventures.org. Until next time, have a bloody good day.